Today I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, an application on the mobile phone called Pocket Brewer. Hopefully you'll agree with me, but one of the reasons why I like to homebrew is it's kind of um, it's an escape from kind of this modern world we live in where everything revolves around technology and social media and all of this and that. And um, fortunately, brewing is one of those few things left where you can kind of just remove yourself from all this technology and just just make something which just purely relies on practical knowledge. Um, you know, I guess it's like building a house, really. But occasionally, there's a piece of technology that comes along which is of actually quite a lot of benefit to brewing. Um, and today, I'm just going to talk about an application which I found on my mobile phone online, which I cannot do without now. It's just so good. So without further ado, presenting Pocket Brewer, which is on the mobile phone here. Unfortunately, at this present moment in time, it's only on the Windows Marketplace. So if you're unfortunate enough to have a phone like this, which is just a Lumia 800, if it's if it's running um, Windows, whatever it's called, then uh, you'll have access to Pocket Brewer. Hopefully somewhere along the line in the next maybe year or two, um, the creator, the author of the application over in America might make uh, Pocket Brewer for the Apple Store and for the Android Marketplace. So let's crack on. What is Pocket Brewer? Well, it's not a recipe builder, uh, as you might first think. It's sort of a, a brewing assistant for your bottling day, uh, for your brew day, and everywhere in between. Um, I mostly use it for building recipes, making small adjustments, um, experiment and thinking what's going to happen if I change these couple of figures around um, and it gives me some really good results. The beauty about Pocket Brewer is because it's on a mobile phone it's portable right. Um, one of the things I found was uh, say I'm just watching TV with a brew and um, I've, I've built a recipe, brew day's approaching, I'm starting to formulate kind of you know just like a, a little schedule to make sure that everything's done at the right time on brew day. I'll be sitting there in front of the TV um, and I'll think, hang on a minute, no. that That's four litres too many. That's that's a gallon too much. I, I really need to make an adjustment to this. So um, instead of going on the computer and, and loading all that up and going onto my recipe, which I've saved on brewersfriend.com, I can take out my mobile phone and I can see how that four litres is going to affect my original gravity, my final gravity, my bitterness, all of those other things, how it's going to affect the final outcome of the beer. But anyway, let's crack on and actually look at the application now. Throughout this review, I'm going to do a few little cutaways so you can get really good close-up look at the application and hopefully there'll be something there which is applicable to you. So, let's load up the application. <clears throat> so, Within Pocket Brewer, to begin with, you've got four columns. Um, in traditional Windows Phone style, you swipe to the next column. And they're as follows, tools, recipes, units, and scratch. So let's begin with the tools menu. So, <clears throat> the first thing, adjust mash. A very, very excellent portion of Pocket Brewer for all grain users. So. So, for example, um, you want to change your uh, water to grain ratio or you want it to change your uh, mashing temperature. Maybe it's a little bit too high, uh, what you've maybe punched into kind of a calculator like brew smith, uh, beer smith rather or something. So, you will punch in your water volume, your grain weight, your current mash temperature, your target mash temperature uh, and the addition of your water. And it tells you how much water you're going to need to add and your final water to grain ratio. I would love to tell you more about that, but um, unfortunately I'm not an all-grain brewer yet. Boil off is the next particular part of Pocket Brewer. Uh, this is going to calculate basically how much water you're going to boil, up, boil off. Um, it gives you a, a final gravity based upon um, your original gravity, depending on how much you boil off. Uh, it's also going to give you a cooling shrinkage, which is obviously probably going to be an appro approximation and it's going to give you a final volume. Good little window that. Dilution. Now, um, I thought this was pretty useless until I actually thought about it. Um, you punch in your wart volume, 
gravity of the wort, how much you're going to dilute it with, and it's going to give you your final volume or your final specific gravity. Decoction volume, for all grain brewers who like to do a decoction or a double decoction, uh, this tells you all you need to know about how much you're actually going to decoct and your final to grain ratio, water to grain ratio rather. Uh, strike and infusion for all grain brewers again. Gives us various op options including uh, infusion step and infusion strike, your required tonne volume, your water temperature and your water to grain ratio. Basically um, any table within each of these windows which is highlighted in yellow um, is basically what the application is going to calculate for you. So anything with a grey background uh, you punch in yourself and then it gives you the resulting calculation. All grain water. Again, a little bit like that boil off chart, but a little bit more detailed, especially when it comes to your mash and your boil and your total water needed. Then the exact same thing for extract brewers. Boil volume, boil off, cooling loss, uh, your total water needed pre-boil as well. Volume from weight. Um, to be honest, I think this is kind of a little bit of a pointless part because when you buy a, a brewing vessel, number one, it's probably going to tell you how much it could contain. Number two, if it doesn't, all you're going to do is take a set amount of volume, pour it in there and see how much it takes, right? So you don't need an application necessarily to be able to calculate that, but it's there if you want to use it and you want to be really, really specific. Carbonation, I use this all the time on bottling day, it tells you... Um, all the different types of sugar and how much for each depending on the carbonation level that you want. So you've got uh, the amount of CO2 units or volumes that you want, uh, the temperature of your beer at bottling, your volume, and then it gives you all the resulting figures. Estimated alcohol, to be honest, um, you're probably not going to use this because uh, your recipe builder such as Beersmith is going to do this for you, but it's there if you want to use it on the fly. Hydrometer adjust. Now actually this isn't so bad. Um, if you want to take a hydrometer reading of your beer before you actually get it fermenting, uh, in other words your original gravity, um, if, if the wart isn't at 20 degrees, which is what hydrometers are calibrated at, then you're going to have a slight issue with getting an accurate hydrometer reading. So you either leave the beer in your hydrometer in your trial jar out on the side to warm up to 20 degrees or you refrigerate it to cool down to 20 degrees either or or you might use this uh, simple tool inside pocket brewer to make an adjustment for the temperature of the beer so you, you enter the temperature you entered uh, your um, measured specific gravity and your calibration temperature and it will adjust it accordingly not too bad at all of an application and we also get exactly the same thing for a refractometer adjustment. Now, the free version of uh, Pocket Brewer actually has a, <laughs> I don't know whether it's deliberate or not, but they've put an, a, a, an advertisement at the bottom of the application, which means that you can't click on the refractometer adjust button. In fact, you can't click on it at all. I mean, the advertisement's disappeared and you can't click on it. So presumably, once you buy the application, then and only then, can you use the refract refractometer adjust menu? That's all in the tools menu. So now let's go over to recipes. Um, if I'm completely honest, I've never used this and I never will use it because we have websites to do that. But there's enough on here for us to be able to use it as a, a mobile application on the fly when we need to without relying too heavily on the computer. On to the units window then. So, the first part of the units window is pressure. Now, basically, everything inside of the units window is essentially a converter. So, no matter what you click on, uh, it basically converts any figure that you enter to the different types of that particular unit. So, pressure. Uh, we've got pounds per square inch, kilopascals, bar and atmospheres. Now, of course, uh, for those that um, keg, like a corny keg, it's, the beer is going to be force carbonated and it's going to be under pressure. So bar and atmospheres is something that's going to be really useful to you. Uh, and so is pounds per square inch for your gas. So, you know, it's just it's converting between these, which is very, very handy indeed. Um, gravity, of course, for those of us that use a refractometer, uh, bricks is reasonably important. 
um, so is plateau, and of course gravity in general. So you can convert between all three different um, units of gravity, which is pretty damn handy. Temperature, of course, just Fahrenheit and Celsius. Volume then. Now for some reason in the volume window, uh, it lists US and Imperial as something different. Now, at least in England, we call what the Americans use as their volume measurement system. We, we call that Imperial. Um, so I'm not sure why this has got US and Imperial, so to speak. But regardless, under the Imperial column, uh, we've got millilitres, litres, Imperial ounces, pints, quarts, gallons and barrels. And that will convert not just all of those figures into each other. So not only will it convert millilitres into litres, but it will also convert anything that you input into fluid ounces, cups, US pints, US quarts, US gallons, and US barrels. So that's not a bad little window at all. And then we've got exactly the same thing for weight, which is very, very good. Converts pounds to grams to kilos to US ounces. So these are all tools that are really useful for both um, American imperial brewers and those of us who use the metric system because we can easily convert between them which means if we're following a recipe that isn't necessarily in metric for instance it's an imperial we can whip this out and we can convert some figures over so that's everything in the units window finally is the scratch window which is basically just a notepad so if you think of something that you might need to write down there it is you ain't gonna forget it so that's Pocket Brewer, guys. Truly a remarkable application. Normally, I detest using technology when it comes to brewing. But that is something that is really, really handy. Hopefully, you might find it of interest to download that application if you use a Windows phone. Now, as I said earlier, it does cost, or the full version does cost, um, uh, the Windows Marketplace operate a particular function called the Try It button. So you press the Try It button, you get to download it, you get to keep it for eternity, and you can use it for free. But of course, one of the only downsides is that you can't click on that uh, Refractometer Adjust button. That's not a big deal for me because I don't use one. So I don't really have any reason to buy the full version. As far as my memory um, recalls, the paid version is only a couple of pounds. So if that's something you want to go for, it's not too expensive. So happy Homebrew Wednesday, everybody. Thanks for watching. Um, hopefully, I've given you some good information on possibly one of the only brewing applications on the Windows Marketplace. Let's hope they make it for Android and for Apple. Thanks for watching, everybody.